sorry, I thought you were my wife. No, I'm not. No, I mean, I, I didn't actually think that you were my wife. I just expected that she'd be here. Oh, no. Well, on the piano tuner, uh, your wife popped out. She said she was going to see her mother, who's got a dose of the flu. Oh, I see. There's a lot of it about, isn't there? Oh, there's a lot of flu about. And, uh, here, there's a lot of it about, too, isn't there, eh? Hey! <laughs> a lot of flu about, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of it about. <laughs> Just carry on tuning your piano. I've got rather a lot of prep to correct. Oh, yes, you are. I said you were a Latin master. Yes, I teach down at the local secondary modern. Yeah, I couldn't stand my Latin master when I was a Latin. Really? Used to make us sing this stupid song about prepositions taking the ablative. I am a friend for a day, and I am fam for me to day. See this here, no prowess, I know, I, I am familiar with the rhyme, but we have rather different methods now, rather more advanced. Well, I think we will hope so. Oh. I don't think I'm being impertinent, but your wife. <laughs> Beautiful, very attractive lady, I say. Thank you, she is attractive. <laughs> I thought she was a very artistic type. Well, she's artistic um, as well. Um, she did those flowers over there, as a matter of fact. Oh, beautifully arranged. <laughs> Oh, she had very sensitive hands. Well, she is um, very artistic, you know. She does flowers and quite musical. That's really why we've got this little piano in to give her something to do in the afternoon. Yes, well, my view is that every housewife, whoever it is, she always gets the anchoring for a bit of extra mural activity. <laughs> you might as well play it safe, keep her in the house. I mean, idle hands turn to mischief, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really the reason why we've got the piano. My wife has all kinds of interests, actually. Flower arrangement, pot arrangement. She goes down to the WI quite a lot. WI? What does that stand for? Uh, it's the Women's Institute. Women's Institute? Oh, that's funny. I saw WI on your wall, wall diary up there. I saw it Wednesday and Friday afternoon, WI. Yeah. I didn't think of w Women's Institute. I thought of Willie Ivanoff, a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know him? No, I've never met him. No, all. he's a fiery Russian character. Plays the piano like a demon. He's got these huge hands, fingers like hammers. There you go. <laughs> Gentleman. Oh, he's a wonderful character. He's very good with the romantics too. A wonderful soft touch, you know. Yes, sir. But, uh, <laughs> I was, I, I was round this place tuning his piano the other day, and apparently the other night he was halfway through a night on the bear mount, and the sustaining pedal fell right off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very amusing. Yeah. yeah. Funny though, is it? This was being the same as that, only it? W R Women's Institute, Willie Arvinoff. Cool. Mind you, his place is like the Women's Institute, if you're an outlaw. <laughs> I told him, I said, you're not Willie Ivanoff, you're Willie Avinoff. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I uh, have a, a wry sense of humour. Oh, well, you've got to laugh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> I remember reading in my, my ex-wife's diary every Wednesday and Friday afternoon, RSPCA. Your wife was an animal lover, was she? She was an animal lover, all right, yeah. <laughs> Manner of speaking. Or oh, PCA turned out to be Rodney, Sydney, Percy, Cedric and Arthur. <laughs> Bloody pop group. See, see, see that off with them. Oh, I can't get no bang, bang. I'm very sorry <laughs> to hear about your marriage. Yeah, I hope your marriage is built on Fernal Gump. <laughs> I'm happy to say that we are very happily married. Yeah. Well, the trouble with women, though, sir, if you don't mind me saying so, is that uh, they're rather like pianos. They need a bit of variety, you know. One day. The light touch of a Mendelssohn. Next day, the big bang of a Beethoven. Ah. And as many hands up their keys as possible. <laughs> well, I don't think your unfortunate experience has any relevance to mine. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> you had quite a party here the other night, didn't you, sir? We had a small wine and cheese gathering, yes. Yeah, it's a bit of cheddar stuck on your middle seat. <laughs> Oh, a couple of twiglets sticking out your sound hole. Well, we'll do remove them then. Yes. Had a nice time, did you, sir? It was a very pleasant evening, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can just picture your wife raving around, dancing exotically to the soul rhythms of the Motown chart bastards. It really wasn't a <laughs> party. We were just sitting about a few friends and uh, no dancing whatsoever. No. I bet your, I bet your wife looked attractive, though, eh? Eh? Bet she looked a treat. Eh? Yes. Yeah, she looked marvellous this afternoon. You've already told me that, yes. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I'd have thought she was going to a film premiere rather than going to her mother's. Done up to the nine she was. High length boots, Marco skirt, 
Sea fruit blouse, Indian headband. I beg your pardon, what did you say? <laughs> sea fruit blouse, Indian headband. My yes. wife is wearing a sea fruit blouse. Yeah, wonderful gear. I've never seen her in one of those. Oh, maybe she's keeping it as a surprise for you. <laughs> or someone else. <laughs> or maybe it was just to cheer her mother up. <laughs> Mind you, if the sight of pert nipples is a fruit cure, fru that's news to me. <laughs> Just one minute. Are you absolutely sure that my wife was wearing this rather titillating costume? Oh, yes. Very tantalising. Oh, I hope she got to your mother-in-law's all right. You never know what could happen. Best up the queue like that. She might just have gone out the door, crossed the road, fallen under a West Indian. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll just give my um, mother-in-law a ring just to um, see how she is. Blue business, very nice. Oh, you be a right, okay, eh? Hello, Mama. Yes, it's me, Charles. How are you? On the mend. I'm glad to hear it. Is Vera with you? Oh, fine. Well, get better soon. Bye. Yes, well, she's um, arrived there safely and she's still there. Oh, good. You had a word with Vera, did you? No, I spoke to her mother and said she was there. <laughs> you didn't actually speak to Vera, did you? No, I spoke to her mother who said she was there. You didn't actually speak to Vera, did you? No, I spoke to her mother who said Vera was there. Same old story. Mother in protecting her brood. What do you mean? My mother-in-law used to... Back my wife Iris up every inch of the way. Iris went down to her mother-in-law's one night. I phoned her up. I said, is Iris there? My mother-in-law said, no, Iris has just gone down to the laundrette. Gone down to a two-legged laundrette called George Wrigley. <laughs> Mind you, of course, I don't suppose your wife would go for that sort of thing. I'm absolutely certain she wouldn't. Can't quite understand why she's wearing this rather exotic costume. It does seem a bit extreme, sir, doesn't it? Actually, I'll just give her a ring because I've got this meeting tonight and I ought to tell her what time I'm going to be back. It's best to be on the safe side, isn't it? Hello, Mama. Yes, it, it, it's me again. I was um, just ringing up to see if you're any better than you were two minutes ago. <laughs> and is, um, is Vera with you? I see. She just left. <laughs> Yes. What was she wearing? Well, I hope you get better soon. And what was she wearing? <laughs> a beige coat. I see. And grey woolly. No, thank you very much. That's all I wanted to know. I just hope you haven't got that sort of flu that turns you blind. <laughs> yes, apparently there's a sort of flu around which turns you blind, gives you hallucinations, so you can't see what people are wearing. I haven't got, got that. Good night. Yes, the National Union of Teachers. We're trying to get a pay increase. You deserve everything you can get, sir. Thank you very much. And perhaps you'll inform my wife when and if she returns exactly where I am. I will, sir. Oh, and by the way... Good luck. meeting tonight. Yes, with the NUT, yes. as he called it. <laughs> Something about getting a rise. <laughs> your husband's very keen, isn't he? He's very keen on this union business, your husband. Well, he does go down there rather regularly, yes. I'm sure he does, yes. Oh, by the way, just before you come in, uh, uh, there were some phone calls for your husband uh, from, who was it now, NUT, um, Natalie, Ursula and Teresa. Did they leave any message? No, they just said they'd see him down at the union and would he bring a bottle? <laughs> yeah. Very attractive man, your husband, isn't he? Eh? I suppose it's the Latin temperament that gives him that sparkle in the eye. Went out looking a treat, all that beaded stuff, psychedelic t-shirt, wonderful belt and tight velvet trousers, reeking of incense, and of course it's none of my business, but cigarettes and musky and wine. Buffalo, be calm.
koala bear, the wildy beast, Spike Milligan. Tonight was to be a major breakthrough in television. I was to be the first man to do the full frontal nude. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, after an audition for Lord Hill, he said I hadn't got what it takes. <laughs> so instead, I will do a demonstration of sensuous puggery tying, accompanied by Singer's thing, and his all curry trill. <laughs> Echo Peter. Where the cows go bong and the monkeys all say boo. There's a nong nang ning where the trees go ping and the teeth come jibber dump to do. Hard the ning nong nang, all the mice go clang and you just can't catch them in the do. Hard ning nang nong, the cows go bong. Nong ning ning, the trees go ping. Ning nong nang, the mice go clang, but a noisy place to belong. Is the ning, nang, ning, nang, nong. Take it away, Savati. Here. Where the cows go bong and the monkeys all say boo. There's a nip nip nang with the bees go bang and the bees go jibber jab doo. Bang the ning nong nang all the mice go bang and you just can't catch them in the doo. So shi ning nong ning the bees go ping nang nong nang the mice go bang. What a noisy place to belong. He's the ning nang ning bang nong. I just expected that she'd be here. Oh, no. Well, on the piano, Fiona, uh, your wife popped out. She said she was going to see her mother, who's got a dose of the flu. Oh, I see. There's a lot of it about, isn't there? Oh, there's a lot of flu about. And, uh, here, there's a lot of it about, too, isn't there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of flu about, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of it about. <laughs> yes, well, um, you just carry on tuning your piano. I've got rather a lot of prep to correct. Oh, yes, you are. I said you were a Latin master. Yes, I teach down at the local secondary modern. Yeah, I couldn't stand my Latin master when I was a Latin. Really? Used to make us sing this stupid song about prepositions taken in the ablative. I am as for a day, and I am fam for me today. I'm I am familiar with the rhyme, but we have rather different methods now, rather more advanced. Well, I should tell you, I hope so. Oh, I don't think I'm being impertinent, but your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, very attractive lady, I say. Thank you, she is attractive. <laughs> I thought she was a very artistic type. Well, she is artistic um, as well. Um, she did those flowers over there, as a matter of fact. Oh, beautifully arranged. <laughs> Oh, she had very sensitive hands. Well, she is um, very artistic, you know. She does flowers and quite musical. That's really why we've got this little piano in to give her something to do in the afternoon. Yes, well, my view is that every housewife, whoever it is, she always gets the anchoring for a bit of extra mural activity. <laughs> you might as well play it safe, keep her in the house. I mean, idle hands turn to mischief, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really the reason why we've got the piano. My wife has all kinds of interests, actually. Flower arrangement, pot arrangement. She goes down to the WI quite a lot. WI? What does that stand for? Uh, it's the Women's Institute. Women's Institute? Oh, that's funny. I saw WI on your wall, wall diary up there. I saw it Wednesday and Friday afternoon, WI. Yeah. I didn't think of w Women's Institute. I thought of Willie Ivanoff, a friend of mine. <laughs> Do you know him? No, I've 
Never met him. No, he's a fiery Russian character. Plays the piano like a demon. He's got these huge hands, fingers like hammers. There you go. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh, he's wonderful character. He's very good with the romantics, too. A wonderful soft touch, you know. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, was, I, I was around this place tuning his piano the other day, and apparently, the other night, he was halfway through a night on the bear mountain, the sustaining pedal fell right off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very amusing. Yeah. yeah. Funny, though, is it? This was being the same as that, though, isn't it? W.R. Women's Institute, Willie Arvidoff. Cool. Mind you, his place is like the Women's Institute, if you're an outlaw. <laughs> I told him, I said, you're not Willie Ivanoff, you're Willie Avinoff. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, have a, a wry sense of humour. Oh, well, you've got to laugh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> I remember reading in my, my ex-wife's diary every Wednesday and Friday afternoon, RSPCA. Your wife was an animal lover, was she? She was an animal lover, all right, yeah. <laughs> Manner of speaking. Or if PCA turned out to be Rodney, Sydney, Percy, Cedric and Arthur. <laughs> Bloody pop group. See, see, see that off with them. Oh, I can't get no. Thanks, thanks. I'm very sorry. <laughs> to hear about your marriage. Yeah, I hope your marriage is built on firm ground. <laughs> I'm happy to say that we are very happily married. Yeah. Well, the trouble with women, though, sir, if you don't mind me saying so, is that uh, <laughs> they're rather like pianos. They need a bit of variety, you know. One day the light touch of a Mendelssohn. Next day, the big bang of a Beethoven. Ah. And as many hands up their keys as possible. <laughs> well, I don't think your unfortunate experience has any relevance to mine. Yet. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Yet, yeah, quite a